In this lecture, we will study LCM and HCF of numbers. LCM is an abbreviation for least common multiple and HCF is an abbreviation for highest common factor. So we have two terms, multiple and factor. So first we will try to understand multiple and factor, then we will move to LCM and HCF. If I multiply 2 and 3, this will give me 6. 2 and 3 are factors of 6 and if I talk about 2, then 6 is multiple of 2 because we are multiplying 3 and we are getting 6. In the same way, for 3, 6 is multiple because we are multiplying 2 and we are getting 6. So I hope multiple and factor is clear now. 2 and 3 are factors of 6 and 6 is multiple of 2 and 3. Very simple. Now we will first start with LCM, the least common multiple. LCM of two number is lowest number which is exactly divisible by each of them. This line will be more clear after solving one example. So there are three terms. First one is multiple, second one is common and third one is least. So we have to first find out multiple, then we have to find out common multiple and finally we have to find out least common multiple. If the two numbers are 8 and 12, if I multiply 8 by 1, I will have 8. 8 multiplied by 2 will give me 16. 8 multiplied by 3 will give me 24. 8 multiplied by 4 will give me 32. 8 multiplied by 5 will give me 40. And 8 multiplied by 6 will give me 48. In the same way, 12 multiplied by 1 is 12. 12 multiplied by 2 is 24. 12 multiplied by 3 is 36, 12 multiplied by 4 is 48 and we want to find out LCM of 8 and 12. So the first thing that we have to do is to find out multiple. I have already calculated few multiples of 8 and 12, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 are the multiples of 8, 12, 24, 36, 48 are the multiples of 12. So we are having multiples, now we want common multiple. And if we compare, we can see 24 is the common multiple and 48 is the common multiple. So we have two common multiples, 24 and 48. Now we want least common multiple. And out of 24 and 48, definitely 24 is least. So LCM of 8 and 12 is 24. This is what we have to do. But every time we don't have to do this. We don't have to follow this way to solve the problem. But I will explain two methods. First one is prime factorization method and second one is division method. They are quite simple method to find out LCM and HCF. Now we will move to HCF, the highest common factor. HCF of two or more number is the greatest number that divides each of them exactly. We will understand HCF in the same way. We are having three words. First one is factor, second one is common and third one is highest. Let's take one example. We will find out HCF of 16 and 40. We will find out factors of 16 and 40. Okay. Factors of 16, we will find out first. Now we'll find out factors of 40. We can write 16 like this. And we can write 40 like this. We can definitely multiply 1. Now we have to find out common factor and that should be highest. So what we will do, we will select the common factor, the highest common factor and this is 8. So HCF of 16 and 40 is 8. I use these examples to explain you LCM and HCF and now you know what is LCM and HCF. So we can move to shortcut methods which will buy time in exam. So I will explain two shortcut methods 
with the help of example the first example is on HCF we have to find out HCF of 28 and 42 the first method is called prime factorization method let's see how to find HCF by using this method I will factorize 28 and this will give me 2 2 7 I can write this as 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 7 raised to power 1 I will factorize 42 42 will give me 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 7 I can write this as 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 3 raised to power 1 multiplied by 7 raised to power 1 this is what we have to do now HCF the highest common factor is equal to product product of common factors with least index very simple we have factors and we have to find out common factors with least index so the first thing that we have to do is to find out common factors common factors are 2 and 7 3 is not common because it is not present in 28 factors of 28 and now we have to find out the common factors with least index out of 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 1 definitely 2 raised to power 1 is the factor with least index because index is 1 in this case in this case index is 2 in case of 7 we have 7 raised to power 1 in both the cases so 7 raised to power 1 is definitely the common factor with least index so 2 raised to power 1 multiplied by 7 raised to power 1 will give us 14 so HCF of 28 and 42 is 14 this is answer very simple now we will move to second method that is division method okay we have 42 and I will divide 42 by 28 so we will have 1 28 and here I will have 1 4 14 now I will divide 28 by 14 here I will have 2 28 and finally I have 0 so this number 14 is the HCF of 42 and 28 very simple first thing that you have to do is to divide the larger number with the smaller one then you have to divide this number with the remainder and you have to repeat the process until you have 0 as the remainder and once we have remainder equal to 0 the divisor will be the HCF now we will move to LCM we will try to find out LCM by these two methods so next example we have to find out LCM of 36 and 120 the first method is prime factorization method we have to follow the same steps we have to factorize 36 this will give us 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 and we can write this as 2 raised to power 2 multiplied by 3 raised to power 2 we have to factorize 120 and this will give us 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 and we can write this as 2 raised to power 3 3 raised to power 1 and 5 raised to power 1 now LCM is equal to product of factors with greatest greatest index in case of HCF it was product of common factors with least index we were having common factor and we were having least index but in this case we don't have common factors we only have factors with greatest index so LCM will be 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 these are the three factors 2 3 and 5 and if you compare 2 
then we have 3 as the greatest index so 2 to the power 3 we have to take and if you compare 3 we have 2 as the greatest index so 3 raised to power 2 and uh, we have only single 5 and having the index of 1 so 5 raised to power 1 so LCM is equal to 360 LCM of 36 and 120 is 360 and this is our answer now we will move to next method the second method method of division and we have to find out factors of factors of 36 and 120 collectively if I divide 36 and 120 by 2 this will give me 18 and 60 again we can divide both of them by 2 this will give me 9 30 dividing by 2 we cannot divide 9 by 2 so I will have 9 30 will give me 15 now both 9 and 15 are divisible by 3 so we have 3 and 5 again I will use 3 this will give me 1 and 5 then 5 will give me 1 1 so you can see we have 2 2 2 3 times 2 this will give me 2 raised to power 3 the first factor with greatest index then I have 2 times 3 this will give me 3 raised to power 2 this will give me second factor with greatest index and we have 5 so I have last factor with greatest index you can definitely multiply them and you will have 360 so these are the two methods to find out LCM of given numbers in the next lecture we will study LCM and HCF of fractions a very important presentation this is all for this lecture see you in the next one